booted me out of the chapter. Oh, no, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I thought it booted me back out to the chapter select. Steam travel is per director's request. This section of the ship has been closed off to all passengers. Cool, we wish you a pleasant feeling today. Yep, can't have any other NPCs around. I'm not sure if I actually slept. I was trying to remember if there was voice acting for a second to this game. But they added voice acting to the, the other game. But then here none of the notes have voice acting. So I wonder if they just added that for the first one. I swear that this damn movie star spends another night tossing and turning and screaming and jumping overboard. If you're afraid of the sea, don't get in a goddamn ship for Christ's sake. I don't actually remember his story too well. Listen, once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get to the set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. I mean, I remember, I don't remember what the the story particularly is I mean I know what they're saying you know, about building the character you know actor trying to find out uh, but I don't remember why I feel like I remember you having to do that in a panic for some reason. Yeah, yeah, I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the sea. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up. Class passengers this way, please. Did you check the lower decks this time? I swear to God, if we find any stowaways again, you'll never set foot on a ship again. In an unprecedented move, the director decided to shoot his next motion picture aboard an ocean liner traveling across the Atlantic. Plot details are kept under wraps. But our trusted sources claim that the project has found its star in unknown person. An objective choice, perhaps given the star's fabled career and numerous critically acclaimed roles, it seems that recent worries, rumors about the artist's personal life have not dissuaded the director. Yeah, I did look up. I actually spent about five hours playing through Layers of Fear 2. 
So the original game was about the same length as the original Layers of Fear. I thought it was a lot longer for some reason. Chief of Security Officer, the new procedures come into force as of next week. The company holds you personally responsible for enforcing them. Repair all guards for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidents of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. We must ensure that does not happen again. In short, stowaways will not be tolerated. Destination zipping across the way. Oh, it's pipe leaking. <laughs> Is that that you could crouch in layers if you're one? I thought I remembered opening up some of the lower drawers. Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense. <laughs> Zippy little rat. <laughs> Even smoke trails. Is it, is it? I'm trying to remember, is it? Isn't it? What is it? Isn't it? Ah, there it was. I did, okay. I did do it right. It's, yeah, I think it's three short, three long, three short. SOS. <laughs> Pretty sure that's SOS. Performance for the ages. Acting, if done well, is a scary business. It takes immense courage to lose consciousness of your own self and not just reenact or become the character you are portraying. Fear can muster that kind of courage, and yet a few can muster that kind of courage, <laughs> and yet it happens. To which, after last night's visit to the Majestic Theater, I can personally attest, as my regular readers well know, I am with words and cannot read, and not the easiest critic to please. Having said that, the play leads the performance left me speechless, utterly fearless. The acting by Blut has not... Nothing short of transcendental. It was as if the person on stage dissolved before my very eyes, letting the character burst into existence. This, uh, are they building the boat? Is that what I'm seeing? Looks like the, yeah, it's the, they're working on the repeller.
Huh, this is one of the slides. I told him you're not interested as per your extremely stupid wish. He told me to tell you that he thought your sibling meant more to you. I told him you're an only child, but he just laughed. Happen. I missed it. Apologize for being forward, but when I heard we were to travel on the same ship, I could not resist the temptation. Just think of me as an admirer of your talent, your performance. They speak to me like no one ever have. To say that you are my favorite actor would be a gross understatement. I do wish we could meet in person. Still, if I could grace the modest piece of paper with his signature, I would treasure it more than anything. In any case, I remain forever your greatest admirer. He's got a reputation. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets him on the set. Supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Yeah, it's because I'm not a hobbled person that can actually move. I'm so just... what if the guy's a little nuts? He's a director. He comes with a job. I mean, what's he gonna do? Kill ya? <laughs> From the Transatlantic Security Office to all officers. Most of you are already aware of the Hollywood motion picture that is going to be shot aboard our vessel. We are sending you detailed guidelines to which the decks are to be restricted for regular passengers. Above all else, the film crew and cast are not to be disturbed. Hear that voice some more. So, bring the actor's There's name. Always a way. A light in the darkness. There's always a way. Because it sounds like the actor who played Candyman. I can't think of his name now. I will make you remember. 
Okay. So many have tried to part with the greatest work as if there was ever a choice. Only one can bring this character to life. Only one broken enough to build it. as a film camera. <laughs> Forsaken prison before we rot. Six nine eight. Out of other area. Finicky on that one. <laughs> are we are we really going? Lily, I I That's Captain Baines to you, Mr. Hardy. Remember the name, Quartermaster, or I'll have you walk the plank. Dinner set here. Confused by the lighting there for a second. <laughs> Is not exactly good on a ship. <laughs> Split myself two ways. <laughs> yeah, so can... yeah, so it's a film project or not projector, film camera.
Looks like the conceit is I'm being filmed right now. I'm back, Mahardi. Scouted out the whole area. Looks like there's a trail we can follow. A trail? Aye. Left by fellow pirates, no doubt. To lead us to a safe harbor. Yeah, see, I believe it's like going back through my past. I remember the pirates' childhood stuff and that... I'm assuming it was like what inspired me to be an actor was pretending to be a pirate. Oh, that's one of the audio reels. Time and description of activities. Break over. Last repair technician leaves the ship through the gangway on E deck. Uh, patrolling the waterfront along the ship. On patrol near the cargo area, saw a shadow move. Small, most likely a child. I gave chase, but could not find anyone. Watch over. There she is, Mr. Hardy. The fastest vessel ever built. Ready to set sail for the land of the flame. I don't see any sails. Shh. We must make our way aboard, quietly. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that boat doesn't have sails. <laughs> you gonna shoot him? Pirate ship. interesting to have a character's name because usually these like series of games are so you know, avoidant of like any name at all so to actually hear the name Lily Ooh, that was a sun <laughs> sunrise or something that's ah, sunset I think with a cooler tone FW and Sons, refined carpentry. Made to order. One sturdy wooden chest built entirely out of oak with heavy iron bandings, additional leather straps, and carrying handles on the side large enough to fit a grown man. We hope you will find your work to your satisfaction. to go back. 
They're literally just saying, hey, yeah, it is literally just saying, <laughs> turn around, go back the way you came. There's a line. Hmm. Nothing there, though. In the spotlight, they were safe. Their world controlled and understandable. Okay, so now we have flashlight. It's a fun little thing I can crank. the flashlight was in. I'm trying to remember if that's our new thing. Oh, the one with the gun is gone. Sorry, buddy. So am I avoiding this spotlight? I do remember there being like some kind of a chase sequence or something. Killed the detective, did you? Double shadow. I know you did it. You killed her. Truth is, it was her killing me. Slowly. All this time. Did I... Huh. Did I get caught in a spotlight? Did the spotlights just go away then? I think I didn't move far enough forward from the corner here. Because <laughs> didn't I... Oh! Oh, okay. So, I, yeah, I did get caught by the light. Something. I don't know what I picked up. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah, I picked up the safe combination.
I was trying to spin my mouse, but you don't actually spin the mouse. You just move in the one way. In the land we've seen Oop. behind shut eyes, the one of bright shores caressed by tide, where there's no pain, no fear, no fury, no lies, there we shall stand tall, our hearts full of pride. If your dreams are bold and by no man bound, if your soul is strong, unlike any other, able to build walls or tear to the ground, then yours is this world, my little brother. That was a rough cut <laughs> where it changed the safe out for Mr. Hardy is quartermaster and this very important thing to be because quartermaster takes care of getting the crew where it needs to be and also make sure there's plenty of food and rum for everyone. Mr. Hardy is a very loyal to the captain and always follows orders because he knows that he, the captain, not Mr. Hardy, is fearless leader. The captain sometimes gets cross with Mr. Hardy, but that's only because he cares greatly about the whole crew. The truth is... some. <laughs> are created equal, but one can become a vessel to carry within the flame of another. Who are we to deny it? Who are we? I know it's a small detail, but I actually do like how the hand doesn't just rotate the object. Like, the f if you actually look, the fingers actually move in order to rotate the object. It's a nice little touch. of film sets. Oop, sorry buddy. This fellow is wise enough to play the fool. I mean, I'm assuming the posters are of movies that I starred in. We always come with a burden. Figures, faces, voices from the past, wrapped in a heavy old bag. <laughs> film showing.
right. <laughs> sure what that is. It's just I'm not sure whether that's a ball of one life ends, another begins. One life ends. The right one. No choice. Gotta kill the dude. Action. A life for life. One must be taken. The right one. No. <laughs> It was a that seemed too big to be a bullet. A story as old as time. Who are we to rewrite it? Who are we to deny it? We must look deeper. We must do better. We must. That's how bullets work. Hello. What was that? <laughs> So I remember, I, I feel like I remember there being some sort of a monster. Obedience. It's something you should learn. No. Thank you.
That was the start of a chase sequence. But Look no. what I found, Mr. Hardy. This chart will lead us away from peril and into safe harbor. It takes courage to stand up to someone stronger than you. I could never do it. I wasn't brave enough, but she was. Prop shopping list, replica of 17th century flank list pistol, one fully operational. Flash powder, cross gunpowder four, ammunition five boxes, dummies one hundred. <laughs> knows what must be done only one knows what is at stake the other doesn't need to know doesn't need to understand only to listen and act I said, were we stowaways on the ship? there being some point where it's like a See, I don't remember being able to stop the monster before. Close the door! I remember it just being a chase sequence. This bottle do. Hurry, we have to secure it. They'll be here any moment. Lily, I, I'm scared. You should be scared. You know what happens if they find us. They'll send us back. being able to actually yeah see this all seems really familiar This sort of stuff, but I don't remember actually being able to use the light against the door behind you, the monster itself. The hunt, and that's.
that's the end of the chapter, I believe. Without me, you are just as lost as they are. See, that seems new. So they're like adding this muse element in behind everything that did not exist in the original games. just going to be oh no this is not have you got off to a rough start I know your ideas of the character should be it's your right you're the star of the show just remember the director might be an odd duck but at the end of the day you're all on the same team your friend and agent actually got a name. Interesting. Whoop. You run, but do you know the way? You That's one, right. You destroy the other. But which one is which? That's right, that's actually like the ending sequence, and as you complete each chapter, that sequence gets longer and longer. That's right, I remember that. Yes, there's the posters. Something like that. There we go. There we go. That's a scene. What drives me? What do I want? What do I need? What are my virtues, flaws? What haunts me? Yeah, so yeah, there's four chapters total. All right. Chapter two. Um. 